Welcome to Keiko's third vlog. Did you know the coroner's office is a law enforcement agency? They have the right to carry a firearm, arrest, and take any evidence? Well, this is what they do every day. I visited Madison County to meet their coroner, Jimmy Cornelison. He said his job is manner and cause of death. Uh, is it manner? Is it homicide, suicide, accidental death, or in cause of death, you know, what caused that? You know, gunshot wound, fall from a cliff, Coroners do not have to go to nursing homes unless they believe they died of an unnatural cause. We handle anything, any death outside of a hospital emergency department with the exception of if it is a hospice patient who's being followed by hospice care and anything that goes into the emergency department that hasn't come from a nursing home. A nursing home, they're under direct physician's care. He said homicides and suicide scenes can take hours to investigate. His team's day-to-day -day equipment includes... This is my cooler, okay? See the temperature over there is at 34 degrees. This is a new cooler the county bought for me this year. If you want to come on this side right here, I can, I can pull up to a scene and pop these doors open and have almost everything that I need. Jimmy says people don't realize the magnitude or emotions of his job. If, I mean, it is, it is an unnatural thing for me to come to your house and tell you somebody in your family is deceased. You show me where there's a book that tells you how to do that. Jimmy tells the next of kin face to face if social media doesn't beat him to it, and he tells them they are entitled to any information that he knows. If I've been asked the question once, I've been asked it seriously a thousand times, I don't know what to do. And I say, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sit down, we're going to talk. We're going to work through this. I'm going to help you. I'm going to lead you the way you need to go. Uh, if they're there by themselves, is there somebody I can call to get them started over here? I'm not going to leave you here by yourself. During his career, he had to notify a personal friend that his son died in a vehicle accident. I knew the father very well. Knew where the father was. Um, and so I... When I got the call, I had my daughter with me, one of my daughters with me, and I would say she was probably 11 or 12 years old. So I said, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna lock the doors, I'll be right back, you know. So I walk into this place and, and uh, I asked if he was there. He was, he'd come around the corner, stuck his hand out, and he said, I hope this is a, 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 a visit for pleasure, isn't it? And I said, no, I need to talk to you. He said, you need to talk to me? Yeah, that's what I need to do. So we went around the corner and um, I actually had the driver's license in my hand. I handed them to him. He said, they lose those driver's license. And I said, no, no, there's been an accident. And you, the, the emotions that came from him were just unbelievable. And I stood right there with him and talked to, there were several people there, talked to the friends. I said, this is all I know right now. But, you know, and because we had known each other our whole life, it was just one of those situations that, really hit me hard. So I walk out back out to my vehicle. It's nighttime, it's probably 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I get in my vehicle, forgetting that my daughter is in the back seat. I mean, I'm just oblivious to it. Close the door and hit the dash with my fist as hard as I can. And she said, Daddy, is everything okay? I said, the radio won't come on. All in all, coroners have more responsibilities than most people realize. Thank you so much for sharing, Jimmy, and thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and leave comments below if you have anything you'd like to see next.